Okay, we're getting ready to cook some dinner. We're gonna cook some yummy mac and cheese in the Dutch oven. It's pretty cool. And we're gonna do some hot dogs, but I have my charcoal chimney here. Let's get these going. Got a little paper towel under there, start at the bottom. And then I'm gonna use the flip grill for our hot dogs. So this is made by Camp Made. This is the lid lifter, and this is the grill. And so I wanna find number two right there. Line up, find number two leg. Like that, like that. Line these up, because the half moons, these legs go in there. And just kind of pull that up. I can get that. Like that, and hook that. And here's our grill. And this is the charcoal holder right here. So when the charcoals are ready, I'll put this under here and we're gonna do our hot dogs right here. So let's get this going. Good times in the outdoors. When the briquettes are ready, we'll get to cooking the food. So we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready to go. The briquettes are ready. I have my 12 inch Dutch oven here. We're gonna cook this at 375. So there's 10 coals on the bottom and we're gonna get this going. And we have a mixture here. We have three cups of milk, two cups of cottage cheese, and then let me refresh uh, a teaspoon of ground mustard, a half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and then a pinch of ground nutmeg and a pinch of cayenne pepper. But before I do this, I almost forgot because we need to do this so it doesn't stick. There's already some olive oil in the Dutch oven, but I want to rub some butter on the side here just to help it out a little bit. We'll just rub this because these noodles will go up. So let's do that. Then we'll pour this mixture in. It called to, to blend this up, but we're camping. So we just kind of mixed it together with a fork and it should work out good because we don't have a blender here at camp. So we'll do that. And then we're gonna use uh, some small shell noodles in this. I don't want to do that. Let me grab my knife. Oop. Maybe the squirrels will like that. But I'm going to do about 12 ounces. This is a 16 ounce bag, so we'll just kind of eyeball that and leave a little, little in there. And then calls for eight ounces of sharp cheese but you want to set a quarter aside because after we cook this for 30 minutes then we're going to add the rest so let's do that pour that in there that looks pretty good so let's set the lid back on at 375 we have 10 on the bottom and we want 16 on top Four, eight. We'll go like that. So there's 16 on top. We'll cook this for 30 minutes and we'll go to the next step, add a little more cheese, a little more stuff to that. And so we'll see you back. Okay, we're ready. It's been 30 minutes. Let's see how this mac and cheese is doing. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That is good. So what we want to do now is we want to put a, a tablespoon of butter. You need to stir it up. In there. And then the rest of the cheese. Get that bag open. You're not going to stir it? Yeah, we're going to stir it. I have a spoon right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Let's keep that butter in the middle. So, yeah, it's hot. Get it off the bottom so it doesn't stick. It's not sticking at all, is it? No, it's good. So, let's keep that. I think, I was thinking maybe another half hour, but I think mm -mm. 20 minutes and it'll be good. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do, 
because that's pretty good. I'm going to put the lid back on. And then we have the flip grill here. Let me grab this. We got the briquettes. Let me get my gloves. We're in the outdoors, so you can kneel down and get your pants dirty when you're cooking in the outdoors. But see, this just spreads apart like that. Just clamp it right there. Then I have a pack of dogs here. We'll lay them on the grill like this so they get like criss lines, criss cross lines. I think this is gonna work out great. The mac and cheese and these hot dogs, I'll just keep flipping these. Good times, so we'll see you back. Okay, I think we're good. The, the hot dogs are cooking good. I actually lowered those briquettes a little bit, but see how they're cooking on there? But I have my bun here ready. Let me grab the lid lifter, because I want to... It's already on the Dutch oven. Look at that mac and cheese. <laughs> Holy smoke. That'll make you smile. Look at that. That is so moist. Man. It's all bubbling. Look at those bubbles right there. <laughs> that is cool. It's like it's winking at you. Huh, baby? Look at that. That is awesome. So I'm going to put the lid back on. Oh, that turned out good. Let's get one of these hot dogs. Like I said, it was, it was cooking fast. So I pulled the grill down. But look at that. That is awesome. There you have it. Dutch oven macaroni and cheese. Wieners cooked on the flip grill. Good times. Get in the outdoors and have some fun.